you ever get that feeling where you know that something's real, but then you get that instant hit that's like, maybe this is a fever dream. Maybe maybe it's not happening. Maybe something is, isn't working quite to where you expect it. And then you find the evidence, and you find out that it actually did happen. And now the fallout, the catastrophe, and many other things fall out from that. For over a decade, Reggie has been, to me, one of the faces of Nintendo you remember. I... When I started getting into video games, one of the first memories I can remember of, of Nintendo, let me make that clear, when I first started getting into Nintendo, well over a decade ago, and I'm almost like 20 years old, dear God, but when I was starting to get into Nintendo, I, I can clearly remember one of the first things I saw was the was the E3 trail was the E3 thing with Reggie and he had in his hands that blocky that blocky mess that he would eventually become the original that would with tweaks would become the the new uh, the new game system the new handheld game system from Nintendo the DS. I love the DS. I loved it to death. Um, I prefer the original model to the other models as it grew down the line. Um, over like a couple years later, I slowly became I slowly became more and more, you know, into Nintendo. Um, like. One of my first con handheld, my first handheld console was a Game Boy Advance. But I think I seriously think that Reggie is one of those people that when you when you think of Nintendo, you think of Reggie, Mario, Zelda. You you start thinking of the characters, and then you go, and then people immediately think to Reggie, because Reggie, the dude loves being with the fans, the dude loves seeing every, um, everything, uh, like, all that he has put himself into, and when he came in, when, when he became President. Apparently, when he became president, that was the entire the entire direction of Nintendo changed. He has been president for for over a decade. I'm trying not to repeat myself. He's going. He has been Nintendo's president for over a decade. The first American. To be Nintendo of America's president. He was best friends with Iwata. Miyamoto. I love those things that you could see with the video. With like, I, It's just weird seeing all these videos now. Of him and Iwata. Doing these f funny fantastical things. And when we lost Iwata. There was a definite shift. With Reggie. There was a definite shift with Miyamoto. Iwata has been gone now for almost four years. Just take, just think about that. It has been almost four years since Iwata since Iwata was gone. And now with Reggie stepping down, I, I seriously think that Nintendo is now moving in, in a direction we've never seen. Is now because now we have now now we have a villain taking over Nintendo. 
Um, if people do not realize, um, Reggie, Reggie confirmed his retirement, and he, he kind of gave this very much loving, um, speech about how he, he thanks everybody, and he, it, it, whenever he speaks, he speaks from the heart. He doesn't speak from speech, like, speech writers that are like, quickly, write something down! <laughs> Quick, write something down! Get to the president! Go, run it over to- No, he's speaking from the heart. But, now, now, he, he also said near the end that his, his replacement, I, if I do believe so, is this from the same position he came from? Because I don't think he, I don't think he's the direct, uh, he was the direct uh, president. He basically picked from the same position, um, dude, to move up for. Well, Doug Bowser, a man, a man known specifically for tying up Mario and Luigi puzzles with a Nintendo 64 cable, Donkey Kong arcade machines, and having the last name of literally Bowser, which means that memes have already spotted up of Doug Bowser being Bowser. <laughs> I'm terrified of what he thought with the Bowser meme that happened a few months ago. Oh God! Don't like I like. <laughs> oh God! I, I, this is one last like Reggie joke. Basically, he knew he knew this. He probably has been thinking about this since he water passed away. He's been waiting, waiting. For, for the moment where it's like, I, he's, this person's ready, now it's time for me to depart. <sighs> and, oh, over the years, like, you, you, pe people thought he would, he would have left with the Wii U. I like the Wii U! <laughs> I'm very, very small community in that. I like the Wii U unironically. <laughs> But, like, it's nothing saying that Nintendo was, was not doing well. <sighs> and then the Switch happened. And everything blew up out of the water. Everything exploded. There was nothing going on. There was, it just... I think now, where we're getting... <clears throat> we're getting a new pres uh, Nintendo of America president... Oh, by the way, Mother 3 fans have now started jumping out. I'm a Mother 3 fan, and I think it's a little quick to throw Reggie in his grave, run over to Doug Bowser, and st No, I, I like, wait till April, guys. You, you can wait till April. <laughs> like, just, just, just give the man space. Let him work with Bowel with Doug as he continues on, and then when he leaves, then bombard him with Mother 3. Don't just be like... <laughs> I think I think what was so freaking funny um, was what one of the most funniest tweets I ever saw was of... was like not even out. It was like only hours after after <laughs> after after uh, Reggie uh, Reggie announced his retirement and confirmed his retirement that out of the freaking blue this tweet was sent <laughs> God dang it, Steven! Oh god! <laughs> it's like, it's like, with this, it's just like, I'm gonna rip the torch from Reggie! Here, here's your torch, I'll give us Mother 3. <sighs> we got Mother 1! Wait! Let them work on Mother 3. They're probably working on Mother 3. But
it, it just... We're, we're gonna miss him. We're, we're, we're gonna miss him. Reggie, if, if you can, <clears throat> if you are watching these videos of reactions, like, you know, sayings like that, we will miss you. And it, it genuinely, yeah, it, genuinely, yes. We will miss you, Reggie, because you. People for so long consider you to be, you know, part of Nintendo. And when people think of Nintendo, you're one of the people. And I was watching Arlo's video on this before I made this video. Because I, I've been trying to make this video for like the last couple of hours. And I can't. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't hit the record, like the record button because I, I would be, I would just be a mess going like, Oh God, Reggie, why? No, Reggie, why? No. I can't, I can't do that. Um, I was, I, I watched Arlo's video, and, and I think he made a point very clear. Reggie's no, not moving to another company. Reggie's not doing this or that. He, he's retiring. He, the, the, he is stepping away for good. Because once, because usually when, when something, when, you know, you leave, a, you know, a company, you usually go to work for another company. Reggie isn't. And, and I think that's, that's the clear indicator here. Reggie is... We're gonna miss you, Reggie. We're gonna we're gonna miss the ways how you would announce things. We're gonna miss we're gonna miss the ways that you brought your own style to to the Nintendo Directs and last year's E3. I think it was last year's E3. Especially that was amazing. I don't care who did that. That was an amazing e like E3 where you know he he was pretty it wasn't it was Iwata it, no, it, no it wasn't Miyamoto it wasn't any like any of the, the 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 people who run over and try and like do the directs it was Reggie Reggie himself who stood up and and did that E3 and it is so awkward now. To know that Reggie may not be, I don't think it happens in, yeah, he'll be gone before E3. Before I go into much more and start rambling. We're going to miss you. We're gonna miss you. We're gonna miss everything that you've done to Nintendo. We're gonna miss everything. <sighs> Take care, Reggie. And may you prosper in all your future endeavors. Goodbye.